Mina Ashido, a member of the Ashi Donghu, stands in a small room with two other women. The room is dark, and you can only see the faint glow of three fire lanterns. The women sit around a campfire, roasting chunks of meat on sticks over it. Ashido stands apart from the other two, her arms folded across her chest. I have a question for you. Yes, the other woman says without looking up from her work. If you were to escape from this camp, how far would you go? How far would you take it? The woman says, tossing a chunk of meat into the fire. What do you mean? Ashido says, taken aback. Would you follow me to another tribe? I could get you a real nice life over there. A house, nice food, kids. Ashido's eyes grow wide, and she begins to tremble. Answer the question. I, I don't know, she says, shaking. Do you want to stay here and die? Or do you want to follow me? Ashido's fate will be sealed soon, and it will be one of the three standing in front of her. What do you say, Minnie? Will you follow me? No. Ashido's head drops, and she leans against the wall. The other two don't notice. Why? You'll take me away from my people, and I'll be killed. You're not worth dying for. Ha ha. You're not dying for me. Minnie Ashido. You. You just want me to get you out of here so you can go home and become a rich man. The fire snaps, and the meat sizzles in its juices. Rich man? I don't want to be a rich man. Then what do you want? Ashido opens her mouth to answer, but Trio steps forward and puts a hand on her shoulder, silencing her. He turns to the other two, and asks. What's the meaning of this? One of the women turns to face Ashido, and says. He wants to know why you won't follow him. It's because I don't need to. She turns her back on the others and faces the wall. She doesn't need to, why? Trio says, stepping closer to Ashido. Why did you say that? She needed to hear it. She won't follow me. Will she? Not if you give her a choice. What kind of choice? A choice between following you and staying here. And what would that be? The woman scoffs. What kind of question is that? If she stays here, she'll die. Not if she chooses to stay with me. You're not thinking of leaving her here, are you? The girl is scared, and she looks to the other two for support. Why not? You can't just take her away from everything she knows. She'll die. So, if I give her a choice, what will it be? That's not the point. That's the only point that matters. Well, if she chooses to go with you, she'll be killed. So, you're just going to leave her here to die? She'll die no matter what. So, what's the difference? I'm not doing it, that's the difference. Now, I'm going to leave. He turns, and walks out of the room. Hey, the girl says, wait. You can't just leave her here. I'm doing what's best for her. What do we do? She's not getting any better. Look, I don't know what you two have done, or what you plan on doing with her, but this isn't helping anyone. She'll be killed if she stays here. Now, get some rest. You look exhausted. He turns and walks out of the room, leaving the other two alone. What are we going to do? She needs help. There's nothing we can do now. She's made up her mind. We could take her with us. She could help us. She knows so much about this place and the plants and the animals in. She couldn't help us get away. She hasn't got that skill. Now, get some sleep. We'll figure this out in the morning. I guarantee she'll be better by then. You wake up the next morning. And find a Shido sitting on the edge of her bed. Are you alright? You say. I'm fine, she says, but she's shaken. What happened? Nothing. I just had a bad dream. You sit down on the floor. And she sits between your legs. Tell me about it. I had a bad dream that the other two were going to kill me. They were going to throw me in a pit of snakes. Snakes? That's ridiculous. Nobody's going to kill you. You're strong. The voice told me that I wasn't strong enough to escape. That I'd end up like him. Who? The man in the dream. Tell me about him. He had a mark on his face, like a scar or a burn. He held a knife to my father's throat. 
and said that if he didn't give him something, he'd cut his throat. Who's your father? He's dead. I'm sorry to hear that. What did he do? He was a warrior king. They call him the king of death. The king of death? That's a bit extreme. He was known for his extreme measures. I understand he wanted to kill you. I'm sure that had something to do with it. No, it wasn't that. He was trying to kill the snakes. I don't get it. Snakes. They were probably just a symbol of his power. The man could have been talking about anything. You don't think. It's possible. It could have been a threat against anyone. Or, it could have been a reference to someone specific, someone the king didn't like. Who? Anyone. It could have been someone they knew. Like. I don't know, me. You shake your head. You don't think she'll ever be able to get past that part of her life. I have another question for you. Okay. When did you last see your mother? A long time ago. Before I was born. That's odd. Most children don't remember their mother. What's her name? Ashido looks down. She left when I was young. I don't remember her. You don't remember your mother? How did that happen? I don't know. I don't know anything about that woman. Nothing? You don't know why she left you, where she went, what she looked like? No. Do you remember anything about your father? Ashido shakes her head. No. So, you don't know anything about your family? Wherever they came from, or why they're here? No, I don't. You don't know how to feel about that. On one hand, your mother abandoned you. On the other hand, you don't remember anything about her, either, so why should you? You don't have any siblings. Do you? No. Do you know why? Do you know how you ended up living on this planet? That's a bit of a large question, yes. I don't really remember. It was a long time ago. Well, I'm here asking you to help me get back to where I could get back to my own planet, before anybody decides to kill me. You're quiet for a moment. What do you think? She says. That I should help you, you say, because I don't want to see you get hurt. Well, you can stay with me, or you can go back to your planet. But you're going to have to choose quickly. Because I don't think I'll stay here long. You think about it overnight. By the time the sun rises, you've made up your mind. You should go back with me, you say. Really? Yeah. Well, okay. We'll do that. I'll go get my stuff. Where should we go? You point towards the hills. There's an abandoned temple there. It should have all the stuff we need. Ashido nods. And walks into her room and begins packing. You get up, and walk after her. We should go, she says. Yeah. You stand outside the door of her room, waiting for her to finish. When she doesn't, you walk in and see her packing. What's wrong? You say. I can't find my clothes, she says. I can't find anything. What are you talking about? My dress, my bra, everything. They're gone. Maybe they fell off the table. No, they didn't. I looked everywhere. Maybe they're in another of the rooms. They're not. Come on. You follow her into the other room. She stands on the dresser and looks around. They're gone. Maybe they got dirty and got thrown out. No. Come on. We'd better go look for them. You follow her around the room, but find nothing. They're gone. Look again. You do it again. Still nothing. We should go back and find them, she says. Fine. Let's go. You follow her back to the door, and wait. When she doesn't come back, you open it up and see nothing. Then you look up. Ashido is floating in the air. Come on. You try to grab her, but she floats out of reach. You try to grab her arm, but it just brushes your hand. I can't reach you, you say. Ashido floats down and lands in your lap, and you wrap an arm around her. She grabs onto one of your legs, and the three of you begin to descend. We should go back up. Why? She says. We don't know what's down there. It looked like it was all abandoned. Besides, we don't have time to go wandering around. But, but, look, kid. We can't take the risk that somebody might be down there. It could be dangerous. If it's dangerous, we should go back and find out. Well, we can't do that, honey. It's okay. 
We can find something else. Now hush and be still. I need to think. You hush and wait. After a few minutes, the dropship begins to descend. When your feet hit the ground, you turn around and see it hovering over your head. We're safe, Ashido says. Can we go now? Yeah, let's get out of here, you say. You walk towards the dropship and begin to climb inside. What are you doing? She says. I want to see what's on the other side. It might be a way out of here. It might not. There might not be anything at the other end. We'll see. You climb inside the dropship and sit down. It begins lifting off. I'm scared. Don't be. Nothing bad will happen. But if something bad does happen, then we'll just have to figure out a way to make it better. There's a big whoosh as the dropship ascends into the air. You sit back and relax and watch it fly away. Ashido follows your gaze and smiles. It's a way out of here, she says. We might want to keep this in a secret, just in case. Why? Well, if the people who run this place were to get to us, they might not need a way out of here. They might just keep us here as a way to get to the planet. Ashido nods and begins searching her pockets. She pulls out a small communicator. What's that? You say. A way to call for help. If we're going to use it, we should get out of here, you say. She looks at you. Don't you think we should put it to good use? You shrug. Do you want to try it? You nod. Let's roll, then. You stand, and run towards the edge of the mesa. The dropship has nearly reached the top plateau, and is hovering over the small gap in the mesa. You run and leap off the edge as it is still rising. You fall through space, and land with a thump in the desert. The ground is hot beneath you, but you slowly sink into the sand. Ashido leans out of the dropship and looks at you. Are you alright? She says. Yeah, I just, I just fell a really long way. We should get back to the mesa. The sun is high in the sky. And your bones are beginning to melt. We should try to find water, she says. Yeah, or some shade. You really don't want to go back up there. The air is just going to get hotter and hotter. You stand up and begin walking south. We should probably keep going, she says. But our journey is over. I don't think so. The journey is just beginning. What does that mean? You say. I don't know. It just came into my head. Can't we just keep walking south? No. I think we should head towards the zodiac. Why? Because that's where we're going to find water. But the Zodiac, it might be guarded. It might be. But it's our only chance. You don't say anything. We need water. Fine. Fine? Fine. We'll find another way. Good. Ashido pulls a small communicator from her pocket and flips it open. She presses a button and waits. I can't raise base camp, a voice says. This is Red Leader to base camp. Do you read? Loud and clear, red leader, the voice says. This is red too. I copy, a different voice says. Red too, what's your status? We're having a hard time keeping up with the wounded. The humunculi are in a lot of supply wagons. And they're moving fast. Understood. We're going to have to draw more troops from the mesa top to reinforce you. But at least you're out of that fucking cavern. How long do you think it will take? It could take as long as we have to. I don't relish the idea of getting into a pitched battle in these open desert plains. Understood. Out. Ashido pockets the communicator and looks at you. The Zodiac is our only way in. It's going to be heavily guarded. We have to find another way in. Does it have a river or something? You say. No. No what? No river. Not that I could see. Oh. Oh? I just remembered. There's a small lake about 8 kilometers from here. Good work, Red 2. Let's get to it. Hold on. I think I saw something. What? I don't know. I was really focused on the river. Try to remember what you saw. There was a shadow. Concentrate. Concentrate. You close your eyes and try to remember. You see a line of trees. No. A shadow. That's it. You smile. What is it? Ashido says. 
I saw a cave. You saw what? A cave. What are you talking about? I saw it. There it is again. Where? There. See it? I see nothing. Yes, I see it. It's definitely there. Well, I can't see it. Yes, you can. I'm a ghost. I can see things that aren't there. Bullshit. No, I'm serious. It's a real phenomena.